What is going on guys? Today, I figured I'd take you guys through what I do to prepare my listings. Cleaners just finished up over there, so let's head over. So we are officially at my new listing right now. First thing I like to do is take all of the measurements required for the home. I have this handy dandy tool right here. It's a laser and it gives quite an accurate measurement on room sizes. So I'll do that and then we'll move on to doing photography. All right guys, just finished measuring the house. So now we're gonna move on to the photo stage. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky for me. Why is that? Well, there's no power actually in this house. So I'm gonna be depending 100% on natural window lighting for all these photos. So wish me luck because without any interior lighting, this could be a difficult task, but let's see how well we can do. What's going on guys? So once I've shot the property and measured it, the next step is to fly the drone. This property was a bit of a challenge flying a drone because there's so many pine trees around. It was like trying to get any movement in the video was like flying an obstacle course, which was actually kind of fun to be honest, but definitely challenging. This is my first property of the sort that was a challenge to drone, but I feel like we still got some excellent photo and video out of it. Also, if you're a Canadian agent in listing homes, I highly recommend that you get your own drone license and fly your own drone. It's an expensive business and a cost to listing a home. And honestly, it's a super fun part of the job. So I have another video on how to get your advanced drone license in Canada. I'll link it up here somewhere. Be sure to watch that and pass on your first try. It's very important to actually have your license and abide by Canadian law when you're flying a drone. The fines are very hefty if you don't have a license. That's essentially like my favorite part of the job is doing my own media and marketing. I have so much fun doing my own photos and video, and I try and bring a unique and creative approach to every listing I take on. That's why my brand motto is literally choose creativity. The paperwork and the negotiating, uh, I could do without. Showing homes for folks is pretty fun too. This is where I feel most comfortable and at home is doing marketing and being able to tell a story about a home. So anyways, once I get all the video and photos edited and ready to go, all that's left is just going over the listing documents with the clients and then we're good to hit the market. This should be a fairly easy one to show because it's vacant, but it's very unique, especially the color on the outside. And I'll be very intrigued to see how the public takes to it because it is quite the character home. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this day in the life video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love talking to you guys in the comment section. I hope this brought some really cool, unique insight on how I list properties. I'd like to hear about your process as well. Let's discuss it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.